Hey guys, it's Meg Collins with Lucy'sList.com. I'm here again with Allison Romero, uh, a pelvic health specialist, therapist. And I wanted to talk specifically about diastasis um, as it pertains to postpartum and what uh, the, the problems it presents, how it can be uh, um, diagnosed, and how you can fix it, essentially, because it's such an easy thing to do. Um, especially if you're doing your other exercises for incontinence, um, just to sort of wrap it in with that. And then you get just that extra benefit of having sort of addressed both areas at once. Yeah. So what is a diastasis real quick? How can you tell if you have So one? a diastasis just means a split, right? So we have our all of our abdominal muscles come to this common tendon in the middle called the linea alba. Um, and so we, you can see it like... Um, it goes through your belly button, right? right? So everything attaches to this common kind of tendon here. And like I said uh, earlier in our interview that the, it, when we're pregnant, 100% of people get a diastasis, okay? We have to have room to like let that yeah, baby... Yeah, the baby just comes right on through. <laughs> expand. <laughs> so the way we can look at it is we're looking from the xiphoid process, so the bottom of your rib cage to the pubic bone. That's where all the muscles are. Yeah. So we can... Um, the way we can do it is by lying on your back, and you're feeling in that center area, okay? Right. So use the belly button as kind of your guide. And so you can just kind of feel, do I feel boundaries? Right. You shouldn't really. Yeah. So it should feel kind of just flat if you're feeling like two sides of something and then like a dip in the middle. And initially, I remember after I had my second baby, I literally felt like my guts were poking through. Yeah. And you could feel, I could feel my uterus, like without anything covering or up. Or sometimes I mean, you're kind of achy, but... Yeah, I was going to say, sometimes, like, you're lying on your side and you kind of feel everything, like, yeah. hanging out next to you. Yeah, so it's... And it's measured by... Our number fingers. Finger widths, yeah, number of finger widths. How many fingers you can... That that that, that it's, like, gaping. And, and the gape is usually more pronounced around the navel, right? Yeah, because the belly button's kind of our original weak point, right? right. So it's, like, an original hole that we had. Um, so that's... So you're lying flat, you're looking that way with your fingers, then you can do, like, a little mini sit-up, just lifting your head up off of the... Not too high, but bed or pillow. Just barely mm -hmm. lift your head up. And that's going to make it more pronounced. You're going to really be able to feel kind of the boundaries of that diastasis and where your abs are. Right. And it's just another thing to bring up to an OB or a pelvic therapist. Well, they yeah. will yeah. bring it up for you, but... Um, so, so, okay, so you have a diastasis. Yes. And it's it's not helping your all the problems that you might have yeah. after you have a baby. Um, I was really happy to learn that um, it's quite easy just to... Uh, so there's a, a few uh, programs out there on the internet. One is the Tupler Technique, which I actually did the full Tupler Technique with a splint, and it's extremely time-intensive. Yeah. Um, it I, I want to say it did nothing for me, so I kind of was very dismayed that I'd done all this work and I still had this like pretty moderate sized diastasis yeah. and Allison was like no no you just uh we'll, we'll yeah. talk about how yeah so because well, you're and for most women like I'd say most women kind of range between like like a two and a two and a half width diastasis Finger width. right uh -huh. which is not it's, it's not extreme that's not like a surgical candidate nothing like that um because you can also have an umbilical prolapse Right. Or hernia, yeah. You can have like basically hernia, like, right? Like it gets so it can get so weak there that we can then we're at risk for hernia. But like most women are, I would say In we're not health. there, right. yeah. But we want to fix it so that all the muscles are working uh, perfectly. So we're talking about how to yeah, what we can do kind yes, of like this is kind of the old school just like quick fix, but it works for a lot of people. Is you can take a scarf or a pant leg or a a sheet, something long, right? Something that like can cover from your rib cage, basically to your pubic bone, and you cross it. You kind of want to cross like right over where the belly button is. Not super tight. You're just kind of like you're pulling the muscles. You're approximating. Yeah, you're just approximating right? the two sides of that rectus abdominis, right? So, how much strength am I? Just tight enough but, that you feel. Yeah, like but not like cutting off circulation. <laughs> and then you're gonna be you're lying on your back again and you're just lifting your head up again, just like enough to unweight your head off of the pillow or the bed. Right. Doing that's like a little mini sit up and then back down. And you can feel it squeezing together. Thirty to sides. fifty of those uh -huh. a day uh -huh. until we fix it. Thirty to fifty of those. So all you need is like a scar I use a scarf. Mm hmm Wrap yeah. it around and you're just barely it's not a crunch. It's not you don't want to be up. You're just, you're just, you're just uh, engaging contracting those that. Muscles. Yeah. So like we said, we're approximating the two sides and then activating them so that they can like find each other and start to be like, oh, there's my partner. We right. are 
you know, we are symbiotic and we work together, that right. kind of thing. Um, a great time, to like, that's a great thing to check with your PT. Yeah. So, and that's just another thing that you can address while, if you're doing this anyway, to, yes. do, to do that as well. And it can have a huge impact on your, on, like, incontinence function. Right. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people also have, you know, just some unsightly skin mm -hmm. around their belly. And so one thing I just wanted to add about that is it's not going to help. It's not so much a cosmetic thing, although it can help sort of tighten your... You may notice after you give birth that your your waist area is just looser. Yes. It just... It, and it may not... You know, you may have to go up a size jeans. And I'm not talking about fat, although we do get fat um, here and there. But um, it's just actually like a change to your waistline sometimes. Yeah. And so... But what I wanted to say is it's not going to make... If you have a lot of excess skin, like I do, it's not going to help you in that regard in the bikini, the bikini department. But it does just help your overall health. Yeah, your right. pelvic health. So, mm -hmm. so that is a diastasis uh, treatment. And uh, thanks again for being with us. Yeah, thanks All for right. having me. See you next time.